last lecture you studied three addressing modes of 8051 first addressing mode is immediate addressing mode where immediate number is uh, given in the instruction second is register addressing mode where both source and destinations are registered third is direct addressing mode where address of internal RAM or SFRs are directly mentioned in the instruction. So in direct addressing mode, we have seen the example like this. Move A comma ATH. ATH is port P0 address. So here the address is directly mentioned in the instruction. But in indirect addressing mode, that is fourth mode of 8051, the address of internal RAM or SFRs are not directly given in the instruction, but they are stored in registers and that registers are used as a pointer to memory location. The two registers are only used to store the internal RAM address. So this indirect addressing mode first we'll discuss related to internal RAM. and SFRs. So here only two registers mm -hmm. R0 and R1 are used to store address of this RAM, internal RAM or SFRs. So only these two registers R0 and R1 can be used and as we have discuss this can be written in instruction as rp and you can mention whether you want to use r0 or r1 that means this resistor r0 or, or r1 is used as a pointer to memory location suppose this is internal rom or internal memory ROM, ram internal ram and sfr memory so address of this will start from 00H, last address of internal RAM is 7FH and the last address is FFH. Here we can uh, SFRs resides. So this first we have to store address of this memory location in register R0. Suppose address of this memory location is 09H and here some data is stored N1. And we want to read this data from memory and store it in any other register or accumulator. So this register R0 or R1 we have to use as a pointer to this memory location. So RP any register R0 or R1 we can use as a pointer to this memory location. So once you have used this as a pointer to memory location, for that this address of memory should be stored in this register. For example, I want to use R0 as a pointer. So I will write instruction move R0 comma hash 09H. Now actually 09H we want to use as an address, but in this expression or instruction 09 we as want to store in r0 so it is actually data so hash sign we have to use so here first we are using immediate addressing mode to store 09h in r0 so now this address is stored in r0 we can use indirect addressing mode so first just say the format of indirect addressing mode so it is move accumulator at rp i'll write here so rp means r0 or r1 this at indicates a pointer that is indirect address address of memory location is stored in rp and data from that should be stored in accumulator that is destination so in this case first we have stored this address in r0 and now we can write instruction like move a comma at r0 so what will happen here at r0 means r0 is pointer to memory location 
and this R08 point to 09H because 09H is stored in resistor R0. So what will happen in this expression instruction? The microcontroller will go to this memory location pointed by resistor R0, reads a data which is stored at this memory location that is N1 suppose that will be stored into destination resistor that is accumulator. So in accumulator after execution of this instruction whatever data is stored number is stored at 09H will be stored. So this at sign we have to use to mention indirect addressing mode but before writing this instruction you have to initialize this resistor with a particular memory location. Now we can use this at R0 as a destination also accumulator. Now in this example the destination is at R0 that means destination is memory location pointed by resistor R0 source is accumulator. Now suppose before execution of instruction accumulator contains a 20H. So what will happen here the contents of accumulator will be stored to memory location whose address is stored in resistor R0. In R0 09H is stored so microcontroller will go to this memory location and the contents of accumulator will be stored at this memory location. So 20H data will be stored at this memory location. So here destination is memory location whose address is stored in that particular pointer. So that means we are using here R0 as a pointer. The important thing is that we can write this instruction in this two way only. So the one of the operands should be accumulator. So we cannot use other register we have to use accumulator only. So these instructions are used as a indirect addressing mode for internal RAM memory. other example suppose I am storing in R1 hash 25H now at this moment this is data and which is stored in R1 but when I will use this indirect addressing mode move A comma at R1 immediately the data stored in accumulators turns into address because here we are using at sign. So now R1 is pointing to 25H memory location of memory internal RAM memory. So what this instruction will do whatever data is stored at 25H memory location. So this is internal RAM memory location. Suppose here 15H is stored. So whatever data is stored at this memory location pointed by resistor R1, 25H is address of memory which we have stored in resistor R1. This will be stored in accumulator. So after execution of instruction, 15H will be stored in accumulator. The data of memory location remains as it is. So don't get confused about data and memory location. When microcontroller execute this instruction, it will treat 25H as a data. But when you will use at in indirect addressing mode, this is pointing to memory location whose address is stored in register R1 that is 25H. So it, it is about the internal RAM indirect addressing mode.